Hello everyone! My name is Miss Armenta and I teach kindergarten here at Piranha Meadows. This is a book I got in the mail and I was so excited that I wanted to get on here and read it to you guys. This is a book when Verona, the Corona, came to town. <gasps> Written and illustrated by Haley Glenn. Not only did she write this story, but she also drew the pictures. What do you think this book is going to be about? When Verona the Corona came to town. Verona the Corona just showed up one day and it looked like she was here to stay. Her first stop was Wuhan to say ni hao, then off to Italy to yell ciao. Leaving destruction in her path, Verona wanted everyone to feel her wrath. Across the pond and to the states, sparking fear and canceling dates. Mm. Sound familiar? When Verona came to town, everything shut down. If you went outside, there was no one around. Humans stayed home to get Verona to stop. The dogs were so happy. The cats were not. It's starting to sound even more familiar, right? Mary Ellen woke up and got ready for school, ready to learn and follow the rules. She put on her shoes and tied her braid. Little did she know it'd be her last day in first grade. Aw, poor Mary Ellen. Now it sounds way too familiar, right? Just like us, Mary Ellen had to leave school and stay home. Everything was changing and she missed her friends. Mary Ellen just wanted this all to end. Restaurants closed and she had to eat mom's cooking. Those Brussels sprouts are not good looking. The next day, Mary Ellen had to wear a mask. She had so many questions to ask. Why is Verona the Corona so mean? Why do we have to keep everything so clean? <gasps> so many questions. And she's wearing a mask, just like we have to now too. Six feet apart and signs on every door, social distancing was the new norm. There were few things that didn't change. Everything just felt so strange. Do you ever feel like things are looking or feeling a little strange? One day, Verona asked Mary Ellen to play. <gasps> Mary Ellen said, no way. She ran to the sink and scrubbed Verona off. She sang the ABCs twice and escaped that awful cough. No way, said Mary Ellen. Her teacher was the hero who taught the ABC trick. Verona was vicious, but Mary Ellen was quick. Mary Ellen thought of her teacher just then, wanting to show off her new toothless grin. She watched her teacher's lessons and half class Zooms, but it just wasn't the same as being in the classroom. She missed hearing her nickname, Smarty Bug, but most of all, she missed bear hugs. I bet you miss school too. I sure do. Mary Ellen dreamed of all the people she missed. Her sisters and brothers were at the top of the list. She couldn't see them and her emotions swirled, but they were out saving the world. Her one sister, Sydney, is a nurse, an important hero in our universe. Her other sister, Nancy, runs a grocery store. She is a hero to the core. Her brother, Tom, is a first responder. Could he be more amazing, she began to ponder. Her other brother, Jax, was a mailman. Everyone should be his number one fan. 
Do you know a hero? Mary Ellen was becoming sad on this dreary day, wondering if Verona the Corona would ever go away. But just then, the sun started to come out. <gasps> Mary Ellen looked up and reversed her pout. She started thinking, maybe it's not that bad. She was able to spend time with her moms and granddad. She had fun helping her mom make masks for others, even if she missed her sisters and brothers. How nice. Mary Ellen le learned about pollution and that it was getting a little better. She learned to draw a shark and wrote her best friend a letter. She knew for sure Verona the Corona was bad, but that didn't mean she always had to be sad. Mary Ellen saw a rainbow and ran out to play. She wouldn't let this nasty virus ruin her fun day. She played a new game called Strut, 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 where she kicked Verona's butt, butt, butt. Even when her world was turned upside down, Mary Ellen realized she could always flip her frown. When scary things happen, show extra appreciation to others. Here's a reminder to hug your sisters and brothers. And the end, friends. This is the author, Miss Haley Glenn. She's actually a teacher too, and she wrote this story for us. She's from Buffalo, New York. Isn't that amazing? Thank you, Miss Haley Glenn. I hope you love this book as much as I did too. And remember, when things get a little difficult or sometimes a little scary, just remember what Mary Ellen said. You can always flip your frown.